The Royal Enfield Gorilla 450 is the latest roadster to be launched in our market and it shares a platform with the Himalayan 450. While many love the Himalayan 450, it is a hardcore adventure motorcycle that is not the most practical option for day-to-day -day commutes. The Gorilla is essentially a more compact and accessible motorcycle that will appeal to a wider range of riders. It will go off mainly against the likes of the Speed 400, Hero Maverick 440, Harley Davidson X440, the Husqvarna Swat Pillin 401 and here is all you need to know about this new roadster. The Gorilla 450 looks similar to the Hunter 350 from the front with a round headlight, fog gaiters and a new rounded tank with an offset fuel cap. The rear section on the other hand looks very similar to that of the Himalayan 450 with the same exhaust and taillight integrated turn indicators. Like always, the bike gets a bunch of accessories for personalization. They include a fly screen, a headlight grille, crash guards, different seat options and more. The Gorilla is powered by the same 452cc liquid-cooled Sherpa engine which made its debut in the Himalayan 450. It makes the same 40 horsepower and 40 Nm. Although with a curb weight of 185 kilograms, it is 11 kilos lighter than the Himalayan 450. This weight reduction has a lot to do with the fact that the Gorilla has a much smaller 11-litre fuel tank compared to the large 17-litre tank on the Himalayan. Royal Enfield claims that the bike offers a mileage of 29.5 km per litre and should be able to do around 300 km on a full tank. To keep the costs in check, it gets a telescopic fork compared to the inverted fork on the Himalayan. Meanwhile, the linked monoshock is the same as the one we see on the Himalayan. Since this is a roadster, the wheel travel at both ends is also obviously less than that of the Himalayan. It rides on a set of 17-inch alloy wheels wrapped in SEAT Grip XL tyres. With a slightly raised handlebar and mid-set foot pegs, it should offer an upright riding posture. The Gorilla 450 is a more compact motorcycle than the Himalayan. It gets a single-piece seat with an accessible 780mm seat height compared to the 825mm seat height of the Himalayan. Meanwhile, the ground clearance stands at 169mm, making it 61mm less than that of the Himalayan. The braking setup, on the other hand, comprises of disc brakes at both ends with the assistance of dual-channel ABS. The front gets a 310mm disc compared to the larger 320mm disc that we see on the Himalayan. The Gorilla is available in three variants called Flash, Dash and Analog. The Flash and Dash variants get the same round TFT instrument console with Bluetooth connectivity and Google Maps navigation that we see on the Himalayan 450. The more affordable Analog variant gets the instrument console from the Super Meteor 650 which consists of an analog speedometer with a digital inset to display other important information. The Tripper navigation pod will also be available separately for this variant. Additionally, there are five color schemes across the three variants to choose from. As mentioned before, the Gorilla 450 goes up against the likes of the Triumph Speed 400, the Hero Maverick 440, the Harley Davidson X440 and the Husqvarna Swat Pillin 401. And here is how they all stack up in terms of pricing. The Flash variant is priced at Rs 2.54 lakh. The Dash is priced at Rs 2.49 lakh, while the Analog variant is priced at Rs 2.39 lakh, making this the most affordable liquid-cooled Royal Enfield on sale. Let us know what you think about the new Gorilla 450 and drop your thoughts in the comment section below.